just a moment see in a ranging uh, just i want to explain the ranging process so this is one of the ranging rod whereas the last ranging rod we are observing the fourth one here okay and i told them to measure the distance and purposely i put this distance more than 60 to 70 meters which is more than the length of the tape and the tape was of 30 meters and i told them to use only 20 meters tape so let us assume it is 20 meters tape and they started measuring Unfortunately or fortunately with their more and maximum accuracy, they have pointed this station as the first station, then this station as the second, third and fourth. And if you see, they are not in uh, ranging. Okay, they are not correctly ranged. See here, all the three station points are outside. That itself indicates the distance measured will be wrong. And unfortunately, the distance measured was 20, 20, 23 segments and the last one was 11.62. So 71.62 was the distance they have measured. Now what the exercise we did is, now with the directions to be given by direct ranging, I told the first person to come in line and I told her to go left or right of the survey line and that point was marked. Similarly for second station. Now the first station point was taken out, similarly the second was then similarly the third one and the fourth one so directions are given and once first second third and fourth see the first station then the second station third and the red color dress that is the fourth station all these points now if you see them from the first station point at least or approximately about one meter distance all you will find in same line so this is a process of establishing the intermediate points within the two end sessions so as to measure the distance with a maximum accuracy and this process is done by naked eyes so it is called as a direct ranging.